2018 uh, was a very pivotal year in this organization. Uh, we had uh, growing our organizational structure. Uh, for those of you that uh, I don't know, when I talk organizational structure, the, the fire service is a paramilitary service. Um, we have ranks and positions, and in 2018, it was all about that, that organizational structure and adding um, these positions in a very uh, methodical way. And we had our, our hands full in 2018 uh, due to our call volume was go going up, and in order to keep our lowered response times, um, our, our crews and firefighters and administrative, administrative staff were starting to get very stretched thin. And we knew this. We knew this. This issue was was going to occur, and our our district board um, decided to you know implement a few things in 2018, which included staffing for firehouses. Um, and we started that in, in the in the beginning of, of 2018 fully. Planning in 2017, but 2018 was about staffing firehouses and and placing two new engines and two trucks in service. Um, we took on some more property which increased our district to 75 square miles. We implemented many new programs, um, again um, from, from the training aspect and operation standpoint, from um, certified driver operators to um, you know, in, in improving our officer line. And that started to, to uh, create an um, um, issue where overtime was, was starting to occur and burnout. We knew and we were planning for but one thing in 2018 that defined where we were headed into the future was we had to do a mill levy increase. And that mill levy increase was, was talked about for uh, at least over a year on when we were gonna do this. So in 2018, we were faced with Gallagher. Uh, we were faced with increasing call and Commerce City, I believe is, is the fastest growing city in Adams County. And I wanna say in the top five in the state. And so we're faced with this huge amount of growth and no way or no plan um, to expand our operations and or the department as a whole uh, because at the 9.9 .9 mil levy we're, we're capped out. Um, we, would, we would have survived, no problem, um, but we would have survived with that four station response model that would be pretty tough to cover the area that um, we are going to encompass here in the next few years. I, my philosophy is try to be ahead of the game. Um, we, we didn't want to uh, definitely be behind the, the eight ball on this whole thing. We wanted to be able to uh, you know, beef up our, our personnel, our response, our equipment, everything like that for the future. Uh, before you know it, you know, the, the, you know, our, our northern area is exploding as it is, and before you know it, um, it's going to be here, and I want to be well prepared. We, the district board decided to go for a mill levy increase. We went from 9.9 .9 mills to 14.75. In this day and age, to put anything on a, a ballot uh, is very difficult. Uh, I want to especially thank the citizens of Commerce City, and we cover a, a few portions of Adams County, but in all the businesses, everybody that voted on behalf of our fire district, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, a big thanks to the um, fire department itself and the crews and our local Union 5124, uh, the uh, South Adams County Fire Association, which is a, a group that is formed from the volunteer side. Uh, it, took a, it took an army of people to get out there and, and get the word out. So we were able to successfully pass our ballot issue 6B, which allowed us to increase our mill levy to 14.75. It is one of the biggest things that made 2018 a success from new board members in 2018 to um, uh, hiring firefighters to our max potential at our previous mill levy, bringing on new positions and just bringing this department into the future, as well as a, a big shout out to the firefighters and operations and training divisions on uh, their, their innovativeness on training, response, uh, the, just the, the service we provided the citizens and still do is just top notch. And, it does take a, a cost. There is a cost to that service, but you know when you talk about pride and excellence in this organization, I couldn't be more proud of the the, the people that are a part of it. For the 2019 goals, we're very excited to start uh, putting some plans on paper. With great success comes great responsibility, and we have a responsibility now to make sure that we um, fulfill our duty as as we you know ask the taxpayers that 
The main reason for this mill levy increase is to, is to keep up with growth um, and, and, and add more firefighters. So that's one specific goal in 2019 that we want to do is be ready as far as training our, our, our firehouses to our personnel as an entirety as we move forward into the future. In 2019, going to complete a hiring process to add 15 to 18 more firefighters and up to who, you know, we're 20 to 22 more positions as far as firefighters and administrative and so on and so forth. My goal in, in ultimate goal in 2019 is do whatever it takes to provide our citizens with the best possible service that we can we can do. And, and that is looking into all sorts of different avenues and routes on how we can provide, just keep providing a great service to our citizens without raising taxes anymore and um, you know, you know, asking for more money. I had told the taxpayers this 14.75 mil levy will last us at least a decade, and I'm going, and I will search any avenue I can to make sure that you know that maybe one day we never have to raise taxes ever again. So that's that's is the ultimate goal in 2019, uh, and uh, I look forward to a great future with South Adams County Fire. And um, you know, I'm just I'm I'm anxious to see what what happens in 19, 2020, and 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 so on. It's uh, there's big plans in in our future, and uh, um, I just want to again keep providing that excellent service we do to the citizens of Commerce City and, and parts of Adams County. Mm -hmm.